Hello and welcome to another video to teach you about the wonderful world of Latin. Today's video will teach you about the present, imperfect, and future tenses of the third IO and fourth conjugation verbs. Altogether, these are the present system of tenses. So we already know these tenses. The present tense is something that can happen one time, like I see, or an ongoing action, I watch or I am seeing. The future can be a one-time thing or an ongoing thing, I will see or I shall watch. And the imperfect is only an ongoing action, I was seen or I used to watch. In, in order to say the one-time action in the past, we use the perfect, I saw or I have seen. We will learn these in chapter 12. So the other part of today's video is to talk about the different conjugations of verbs. Um, you already know that the first conjugation of verbs we recognize from the dictionary entry because it has that A-R-E in the present active infinitive or the second principal part. Second conjugation verbs have a long E-R-E -E in the present active infinitive. Third conjugation verbs have a short ERE. -E. And then fourth conjugation verbs have a long IRE. -E. That's how we recognize it's a fourth conjugation verb. The third conjugation is divided into two smaller groups. The third conjugation verbs that just have an O in the first principal part. These are the ones you already know. And then the I-O verbs, these are the ones that have an I-O in the first principal part or the first person singular present active indicative form. The third I-O forms have the same patterns or very similar patterns to fourth conjugation verbs. So that's why they're grouped together. And then there are the irregular verbs that you'll learn about in later chapters, but you already know about sum se and posum posse. So let's talk a little bit about how third IO and fourth conjugation verbs are similar. You remember this basic equation to help you conjugate all your verbs. They're for the present imperfect and future tenses. You take the stem plus the stem vowel plus a tense marker, and then your person and number endings. For present, imperfect, and future, your person and number endings are always OST, mustis, end, but sometimes first person singular can be an M, like an imperfect, or the for, uh, future for third and fourth conjugation verbs. The tense markers are consistent. Present is always not going to have a tense marker. Imperfect will have a BA, and future will either have bo be boo, or in the third conjugation, third IO, or fourth conjugation, a long E. The stem vowel will be an I or an IE in the third, third IO or fourth conjugation. The only difference between the third and third IO is that in the imperfect and future, there's an I for third IO, but in the third conjugation, it's just the long E. So here, the imperfect and future of third IO is more like fourth conjugation, but third conjugation just has an I that's short for your um, present stem vowel and fourth conjugation has a long I. We'll talk more about that as we go through some examples. Then you find the stem in the same way for third IO and fourth. So that's why we're gonna pair all of these together. They follow very much the same patterns for third IO and fourth conjugation verbs. So I will provide an example that is from the third IO, and you will do an example from the fourth conjugation applying the same basic pattern. So let's start with the present tense, the thing that's happening now or that's currently ongoing and happening once. For third IO, we will use the example facio, facere, fakey, factum, 
which is a very common verb meaning to make or to do. Just like all other verbs in the present active indicative, the first principal part is your first person singular present active indicative form, so you can just move that down into your chart. To do the other five forms, you need to follow our equation at the bottom of the screen. First, you find your stem, and to do that, you remove the IO or from the first principal part or the ERE from the second principal part. So that leaves you with FAC, F-A-C. And then you add your stem vowel. For third IO, it's a short I. And then you add your person and number ending, so OST mustis end. And all together, we got facio for first person singular, I do. Facis, you do. Facit, you, or he, she, or it makes. Facimus, we do. Facitis, you make or you do. And then facint is a little bit hard to say. So just like we use a U in third conjugation for third I-O, we use a U after the I. So fakiunt is they make or they do. So once you've copied this down, resume the video for the fourth conjugation verb. And that fourth conjugation verb that you'll be practicing with is audio audire audiwi auditum, to hear. I'll get you started by helping you find the stem, and then I'll let you finish the rest. For fourth conjugation, you can either remove the I-O from your first principal part, just like with your third I-O, or you can remove the I-R-E to get your stem. So it would be out for audio audire. Now, finish your chart and check your work once it's complete. Hopefully this is what you got. Audio, I hear. Audis, you hear. Audit, he hears. Audimus, we hear. Auditus, y'all hear. And audiunt, they hear. Now let's go on to our imperatives. Now, these are only second person singular and I've given them to you already. These are the ones that order other people to do things. Facio facere has an irregular imperative, so instead I've used the verb copio, copere, capi, coptum, two C's. For your singular imperatives for third IO and fourth conjugation, you just remove the RE, so cape and audi. For your plural, you use the equation, the stem plus stem vowel plus tense marker plus person and number endings. So you have your stem, C-A-P, and then I, your stem vowel, and then T-E is your plural imperative ending, just like it is for your other conjugations. And then audite is the exact same thing, stem, stem vowel, the long I, and your person number endings, T-E. Next, we go on to the uh, imperfect tense the tense that's in the past, the ongoing action, the I was seen or I used to watch. So in order to create these, you can't just copy down a form from the dictionary entry, but you can use them to build your forms. So first we start with our stem, F-A-C, and then our stem vowels that we add for the imperfect for both third I-O and fourth is IE, so we add those in, and then our tense marker paired with our person and number endings, and this is where you add in the bombas bot, bombas batis bond that you're used to from your other conjugations. So facie bomb, I was doing, facie boss, you were doing, facie bot, he was doing, and then I'll let you practice the imperfect with audio audire once you've made sure you copied this down. Okay, it's your turn to practice with audio audire. 
I'll let you practice and then resume the video when you're ready to check your work. Hopefully you got Audier Bam, Audier Bas, Audier Bat, Audier Bamus, we were listening, Audier Batis, y'all were hearing, Audier Bont, they were hearing. Okay, time for the future. What will happen, whether it will happen one time or it will be an ongoing action. For these, our tense marker and our stem vowel combine, just like they did for third conjugation. And in fact, it will look very similar to your third conjugation regular verbs. So you start with your stem, F-A-C, and then our stem vowel will have a tense marker are combined. So the long E needs to be a part of it for all but first person singular. For first person singular, for third IO, and fourth, it's I-A-N. That has your person and number ending there as well. And then the I-E is your stem vowel for everything else. This is very similar to third conjugation, where it's A-M in the first person singular future, and E is the stem vowel. Except that here, there's the I, because that is part of your first principal part. And then you add the rest of your endings. So, fakie am, I will do, fakies, you will make, fakiet, he will do. And then remember here, fakient is your third person plural. We do not change it to a U because this is where we need that E to tell us its future as our tense marker. And now it's your turn to practice with audio once you've copied all of these down. Your turn, practice the future forms of audio audire. Hopefully you got audiam, audies, audiet, audiemus, audietis, and audient. Once you have those resumed, you can check your understanding. I'm not going to have you conjugate all the verbs in all the tenses, but I will have you parse six verbs, one in each tense, and in each person and number, and then translate some sentences. Keep in mind that you translate the sentences just like you would with any other conjugation and any other verb. And once you are ready, call me over and I will check your work. Thank you for watching this video.